everybody. It is Jay, Jay Crater. Uh, thank you for joining me this week. It's great to have you here. What I wanted to share with you this week were five things that, uh, five suggestions of things that you could do that are like in a self-improvement kind of a mode during uh, our time of shelter in place, our time of the pandemic. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you one of those things. And out of those things, I'm going to make five recommendations. I'm going to tell you my favorite one. My favorite one of these things. So you're just gonna have to stick around and figure out what I'm talking about. All right, hey everybody, it's Jay. Thanks for joining me. And uh, let's jump right in. So what are some things you can do, I can do, we can do to uh, make our lives a little bit better so when this pandemic passes and we're back out in the world doing our normal stuff, we're like on top of things. Number one we can get ourselves in shape. So I've been taking walks and that's been great. And I've started to do a plank one minute a day. And uh, next week I'll be recovered from an injury and I can start doing a little more uh, like a workout, you know, with, uh, I got these bands that I can use. So that's one thing you can do. You can, uh, you know, uh, if, you, if you go on uh, the internet and Google like body weight exercises at home, you'll find there's all kinds of things you can do without any equipment that will definitely get you feeling toasted and, and feeling those the soreness of the muscles the next day, you know, that good feeling. All right, so that's number one. Number two is you can uh, start to look at your diet, eating healthy. So it's really easy, really easy, and really tempting to eat more when you're at home. And um, I've, I've taken some time to like investigate what foods are best for my body and which ones aren't. There's a lot of different options, you know. There's the vegan diet, the keto diet, the paleo diet. There's even a diet where you eat nothing but meat. Crazy, but some people say that's a great diet. Um, for me, what I've found, my diet is best if I stay low carbs. I eat a lot of meat and uh, and vegetables, meat and vegetables, more vegetables than meat, but um, that seems to work the best if I stay away from sugar and carbs. But your body is different, you know. What is it for you? This is a good opportunity to figure it out so you can eat healthier and live longer and uh, just have your mood be better because of you're putting good things into your body. Number three is uh, you can prepare to start a business. So maybe you've been thinking a long time, you know, I wanna get out of corporate America, I wanna start my own thing, or you've been working for somebody and you just wanna do your own business, same business, but just on your own. Well, this is a great time to do all the research to figure out you know, what's required, uh, to, to see what's happening in the industry, where you might be able to make that contribution, and then what, uh, what resources you need and start gathering those resources so that you're ready to launch. Or you might wanna do a business on the internet, in which case you can start like right now. There's tons of opportunity on the internet. That's a field I'm close to. And um, yeah, you can give that a shot. So that's uh, one thing you can do. The fourth thing you could do is you could um, learn a new skill. So maybe you want to learn how to do coding, right? There's a lot of a lot of demand for people who who know how to you know program, or maybe you want to learn a language. That's another great thing you could learn. Or maybe you want to learn how to be a photographer. That's another great thing you could learn. There's so many things you can learn while you're at home. There's a website called Udemy, which has a lot of really uh, relatively inexpensive uh, courses that you can take, and you can just uh, pick up a uh, new skill, you know, just up your skill level somewhere in your life. So that's awesome. And the fifth thing that I wanted to say is that you could just read a good old classic book. Okay, so I told you I'd tell you my favorite, but let me throw out some other ones. Um, Moby Dick by uh, Melville. That is a great book. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Awesome book. Okay, Lady Shatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence, another phenomenal book. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, an awesome book, right? So it's just so many great books. The one I'm gonna recommend that's like my favorite is Old Man in the Sea by my favorite author, Ernest Hemingway. If, uh, if, if, uh, if you wanna read Hemingway, man, there's uh, A Movable Feast, The Sun Also Rises, uh, but Old Man in the Sea is such a great story. It's a short story. Uh, not too long, you could really read it in an afternoon. And uh, it tells a story about an old fisherman and he catches a big marlin 
and, uh, and then what happens to him in the process of reeling the thing in and bringing it to shore. Great, just, just love it. So there you go. So there's five things you could do to uh, you know, really make it so that when this thing's over, you're in great shape, you're eating well, uh, maybe you're ready to launch a new business, you've developed a new skill set, and you've done some reading, you know, slow down, taking some time, quiet time, no Netflix, you know, no HBO, no uh, turn your phone off. You just want to sit down with a, you know, a book, or maybe you're going to look it out on your Kindle, and just read. Just let the words sink in. Just, just uh, appreciate that somebody wrote these words for you to have this experience. And uh, it's pretty awesome. There's some just amazing things that have been written. You don't have to look for new books. Just look for uh, the classics that are acknowledged as the best ever written. And uh, you'll find some great, great experiences. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me each week. I do this every single week. Great to have you uh, with me. Uh, I will see you next week. Uh, if you uh, like this, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do this every single week, and I'll be here next week. And uh, you'll go out and have a great day and be safe out there. This is Jay saying see you next time.